you know what they say, if you're going to do it, do it right. Lori Fisher. I'm a screenwriter and an actress. I was living in New York for a gazillion years. I moved back to Nashville to help out my parents. Not that long after I moved back to Nashville, I got asked to do this 24-hour writing project. And around that same time, I had seen Adam Schiff give this speech called Right Matters. And it really stayed with me of just doing the right thing, no matter what, speaking the truth, and for me, being kind. This is a film about kindness. I think actually every person you meet is a divine appointment. I feel like every person I meet, whether they're waiting on me at some restaurant or whether or not it's somebody I know and love, I feel like it's a divine appointment and a chance to really see who's in front of me and to connect. And so these two totally unconnected people meet and the story is like, will they find that kindness between them? Will they find the common ground? And isn't that the question that's going on right now in our entire society? Like, how are we gonna find this common ground? That part of the piece also is like, don't you feel like the ground underneath you is uncertain and things are changing and you don't know what's going on sometimes? And that's part of what happens. There's little plot twists, little funny things, but also things that might make you go, oh, I might tear up a little bit. This piece was first created as a theater piece, and it was so exciting. It was a 24-hour deal and was given the writing prompt at, I think it was like 8 o'clock at night, and I wrote till like 4 or 5 in the morning, gave it then to the director and the actors, and then they took it, rehearsed it, and then it was done in front of an audience that night. I can't believe the cast memorized it, but they did. They were fabulous and the audience went nuts over it. it. They were just so into it, so enthusiastic. And then I did it a subsequent time with some performers in New York back in March. And again, it was just was met with such joy and laughter. Uh, it was thrilling to just listen to both of them and be around people that were laughing. I always feel like as a writer, if you can make someone laugh for that one second or two seconds when they're laughing, all their problems are gone. They're just laughing. And isn't that like thrilling <laughs> as a writer to experience? Well, we're asking you to be a part of our journey. For those of you that do know me, you know I'm writing nonstop. I'm moving forward no matter what. But the truth is it's a really hard, brutal business to be a screenwriter, to be an actor, to be a director, to be a cinematographer, graphic designer. To be an artist is really difficult. And I think we need your help. We have a great team assembled, but we want to include even more professionals. So professionals, you know, everybody should get paid something. We're, we're not asking people to do just free labor. We're asking people to come in and get something for their brilliant, fabulous work. And so the funding will go primarily to getting professionals on board to help shoot it. And that also includes Lipscomb University students who are you know, well-trained and coming on board and getting experience of working with professionals. Once this goes into like getting color corrected and edited, we want footage that looks fabulous, that's well lit, that you can hear. There's nothing worse than having like a beautiful shot where you can't hear what the actors are saying. So come on board with this, will ya? Don't make us do the lonely artist journey. Let's let's be a community together and make a film that puts hope in the world.